Once you have created a relational connection to SAP HANA, the next step is to create the data foundation for the universe. When connecting to SAP HANA, you can build your data foundation by selecting the appropriate tables and creating joins between them, or you can build your data foundation directly on a pre-existing analytic or calculation view. In this tutorial, you will create a data foundation based on SAP HANA tables. Note that this tutorial was recorded using SAP Business Objects Information Design Tool 4.0, version 14.0.0, v2010-1019-0760. To navigate, use the viewer controls or follow the on-screen instructions, if available. Create a new data foundation in your project. Right-click the HANA project. Click New. Select Data Foundation. Specify a unique name for the data foundation. Type HANA DF tables, and then click Next. Set up the data foundation to be single source, which is the default data foundation type. Click Next. Note that the relational connection has been published to the repository, creating a secured connection shortcut. Use the shortcut as the connection for the data foundation to secure the universe. Select the HANA connection shortcut checkbox. Click Finish. Click Minimize. Once the connection is established, the next step is to set up the data foundation to process SQL statements most efficiently for SAP HANA. View the properties for the data foundation. Click Properties. Click the handle to resize the window. View the parameters for the data foundation. Click Parameters. A query may contain multiple SQL statements. When the join by SQL parameter is set to no, these multiple SQL statements are processed one at a time, and the results are aggregated in the client tool. When this parameter is set to yes, the SQL statements are rewritten into a single statement, and the aggregation takes place in the database. This makes the query faster, and requires less memory from the client tool. Set the parameter to yes. Select the Join by SQL parameter. Click the Values list. Select Yes. Apply your changes and return to the connection view. Click OK. Click the handle to resize the window. Click Connection. Next, navigate to and select the tables that contain the desired data for your universe. Click Plus to expand the HANA connection. Click plus to expand the group. Click plus to expand the IC tables group. Add the desired tables to the data foundation. First, add your fact table. Double click the PV COPA CE1 IDEA table. In this example, the second version of the table ensures you have the latest information. Double click the PV COPA CE4 IDEA table. Next, add the customer table. Double click the PV COPA KNA1 table. Finally, add the material table. Double click the PV COPA MARA table. Next, create the joins between the tables. Join the two fact tables using the object number. Click to drag from the first table to the second table. Join the customer table to the fact table using the customer number. Click to drag from the third table to the second table. Join the material table to the fact table using the material or article number. Click to drag from the fourth table to the second table. Define the cardinality for the joins. You can either automatically detect cardinality, or define it manually for each join. Double click the first join. Click the cardinality list. Select many to one. Click OK. Double click the second join. Click the cardinality list. Select one to many. Click OK. Double click the third join. Click the cardinality list. Select one to many. Click OK. Arrange the tables in the data foundation. Click to collapse the material table. Click to collapse the customer table. Click to collapse the fact table. 
Click to collapse the other fact table. Click Auto Arrange Tables. Save your changes. Click Save. You have successfully created a simple data foundation based on SAP HANA tables. Note that you can create more complex structures using additional fact tables, aliases, and contexts, if desired. Refer to the tutorials on building the structure of a universe and resolving loops in a universe. This is the end of the tutorial.